and then I see this person and I swear every single time, every single time when I saw them, this is what I heard. <laughs> Hello, hi. Um, my name is Melinda. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. And in this week's video is me sharing a story about my biggest crush ever. So throughout like growing up and stuff, of course, I've liked people. Um, but this, in this particular case and this particular story, it was one of those where it's sort of like borderline obsessive so anyway um i need a backstory before i tell the story if you see me looking down on my phone um i wrote down some notes that i can refer back to i went to a boarding school an all girls boarding school from grade 8 to grade 12. so it was really awkward for me to be able to like to even sit next to a guy for a very long time i even feel i still feel awkward right now i went to boarding school in 2006 so yeah <laughs> it still feels awkward even when i get on a bus and then um, a gentleman um, comes and sits next to me i still feel awkward i'm like why are they sitting next to me so now i can imagine five years of um having all your classmates be girls and then you are thrown in this like situation where you go to university and it's a mixed university so i go to university and then the first day of class i remember i think someone sat next to me and it was a guy and i was just like what <laughs> why are they sitting next to me because i'm like what am i supposed to say to them because i was so used the only um uh, males that we interacted with uh, during boarding school were our teachers and that's on like a professional um, teacher student basis you know what I mean so it was still awkward for me because I'm just like oh. anyway I'm one of those people who's really big like on music I really love music so throughout high school yes I jumped on all the trends but I've always been one of those people who really loves R&B and I think that's because I was exposed to R&B when I was like really young. So 90s R&B does me like, I don't know. So um, let me backtrack again. Um, so this is like 2009, um, Jay Holiday comes out, like he's a new artist and he comes out with a song, Bed. And I end up, I actually heard this song for the first time in my brother's car. And I was like, what's this song? It was so amazing. It was the melody, it was the beat. I really liked the song. So then, of course, I get obsessed with Jay Holiday. Loved Bed, and then uh, there was Suffocate. So, yeah, you understand where uh, this is going later on, like, as I tell the story. So then, uh, it was the first week of school, I think. First, first week of university, and we're at a different campus from everyone else so it was compulsory games day on the weekend and because we were new we were freshers we thought oh we have to go because they said it's compulsory later on we knew that you, if you didn't want to go for something you you can't go for it even if you don't want to go for class you can skip class no one is going to come and get your name or or hold you by the neck so we travel for for these games to the main campus and it was on our way back because we were using uh, a school bus uh, a, a big bus actually then uh, there was not enough space so the guys stood in the aisles of the bus and then I look up and I see this guy I'm like where does this guy look so familiar and this guy was literally the exact replica of Jay Holiday and it was so crazy to me the exact replica of Jay Holiday as in, do you understand? Imagine that, like I looked up and it's just... You get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> so it was like, I was like, how come 
oh this guy looks exactly like that guy and I've, I've been so obsessed with the song. It had come out um, two years prior to me going to university. And then I see this person and I swear every single time, every single time when I saw them, this is what I heard. <laughs> All the time when I saw them. And I, and I was just like, hey, sh so that's how my crush started on the person who is an exact replica of Jay Holly. The particular university that I went to uh, offered meals every day, like breakfast, supper, lunch, to the students. So I would meet him, of course. Um, I would meet him in the line uh, when getting lunch, when getting um, supper, when getting breakfast, things like that. Yeah, that's how it was for me. So every single time, every single time I saw the person and it's crazy because I would, I really, I really loved Jay Holiday. <laughs> if you knew me in first, in, in first year, you would know I was obsessed. It was crazy. Um, so I had seen him all this time, right? All this, like all this while around. And then I decide, um, I decided that I was obviously going to speak to the person, but I didn't get the chance to. So I remember this particular day, um, I went to the computer lab and um, it just happened that I sat right next to him in the computer lab. And for some reason, till this day, I remember every single thing I wore that day. Of course, I can't remember the shoes I saw. It was a t-shirt and uh, gray trousers, uh, skinny jeans. And I had this beanie, a purple beanie that I wore. Yes on my head and at a wig of course so i went and i sat next to him and i fainted in my heart i couldn't believe that i was sitting next to the j holiday in my head i was sitting next to the artist and yeah i think i asked him something about computers i don't remember but yeah something like that the conversation never went anywhere then uh there was another time i was going to the cafeteria it was lunchtime and he was right in front of me and then i awkwardly greeted him like i called out his name <laughs> and then i was like hi like jay holiday or we can call him let's call him let's say peter i was like hi peter and then um he just looked at me and he said hi <laughs> i was so awkward um then of course uh, later on i think i bumped into him again some other time after supper and i knew he went to a particular boarding school and i brought up that boarding school and someone who i knew he would have obviously bumped into and I asked about that person it was just an awkward conversation and then i remember on my birthday when i turned 19 <laughs> i told my friends at the time that i wanted him to come and wish me a happy birthday and then uh, it was like night time there was a knock on my door in my uh, dorm room and i opened the door and it was him at the door and he's like Oh, um, I hear that it's your birthday. Your friends told, wanted me to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Melinda. <laughs> I was like, ah! it was like a cringe moment, but I was really, really happy that they did that because they knew like my level of obsession was deep. I was overexcited and like super crushed on the person for just that particular uh, semester. I think the next semester I sort of faded away because I realized that, of course, um, I didn't know this person, neither did I know even the artist, so there was nothing, like, there was no need for me to make such a, like, a, a big fuss out of it because it didn't really make sense. So, yeah, slowly I forgot the person. I ended up seeing them when I went back to second year, third year, I would see them around. But, like, um, of course, the crush was done, like, was done and dusted. Then I finally got to meet him, um, the year when I finally graduated, I think he came to school, a friend of his was graduating. So um, the time when people are graduating at the university is a place where people can go and hang out and things like that. And so I bumped into him the day, during the day, during the daytime, he knew a particular friend that I was with at that time. And I said hi, and they had a conversation and I was just like there. Then later on during the, the night time in the evening, um, he actually happened to be there as well. And then I had a conversation with him and I had actually said to myself that um, 
if I ever got to have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation because in fact my the resolution for me in first year and me getting over the crush was that I told my friends there is no way I said there's no way in hell this person doesn't know that I like them because everyone everyone made an effort everyone that I knew made an effort to make it so obvious that um i had a crush on this particular person so i was saying my friends there's no way in hell this person doesn't know that i feel a particular type of way about them you know and of course it wasn't like love it was like infatuation and stuff of unrealistic goals and you know uh, people's potential and things like that so um yeah that's what i said to myself in first year that's how i ended up getting over the crush so when i met him and it was like my last day of university and i was just like ah whatever i was i told him actually i think i did tell him like ah you know i was so obsessed with you in first year at the biggest crush on you you would never like ever believe it and he's like oh okay uh i didn't i think we just hang out and what like really really cool conversation and things like that then the conversation turned awkward because i think in his head he thought i was still obsessed with him and yeah anyway it, it never it wasn't Apart from the conversation being good, um, I just, uh, you know the thing where you have this uh, perfect definition or what can I say, you have this perfect uh, description, uh, characteristics, uh, qualities of someone that you've never met and then you talk to them and then those superficial qualities that you had in your head about the person don't align or match up. And then it's just like you know what this person is not what i thought they were and it doesn't really matter anymore but yeah uh, uh to continue hanging out later on i declined the offer i just said okay but it was like really nice speaking to you and things like that so anyway i want you guys to comment down below like the biggest crush that you've ever had if you've ever had what you did like did you go crazy like me and randomly call out someone in the middle of the room <laughs> just to say hi to them um comment down below like your experiences with your crush and if if when you met them if your expectations were met or they were not met anyway um the biggest lesson is that i realized that sometimes um the things that we really want or we think that we want and need um are totally different from what the reality is people are what they are and people are not what you want them to be so if if i had a chance to go back in the past and have a conversation or try and build something with a person now i wouldn't because i know they're not they're not all all that i made them up to be in my mind but it was fun i'll definitely not take it back if i could uh, I think it was a big lesson for me in that um, not all that glitters is gold and sometimes uh, it's just silver or that it's just coated like gold but deep down it's steel <laughs> things like that yeah but it was it was it was really really fun when I think about it and I think of like my first year I remember that particular person oh Peter and every time and my friends actually used to call him jay holiday everyone knew like oh my gosh Milanga, Milanga. <laughs> it was embarrassing sometimes when i think about it because when i would see him later on in the years before like our final meeting and stuff i would get so embarrassed because i would remember everything that i did like me following him around <laughs> but it wasn't that bad it was just i really thought you know where in your head you think when you're obsessed with like an artist and then you see the the artist is like reincarnated in someone that you you have access to hey yeah and yeah anyway i guess and at the end of the day my obsession was as a result of my love for music and how much i really enjoy r&b music and how much i just really love a good song and good lyrics and things like that so anyway, yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching another video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this content or like any other content that I've done, please don't feel shy to subscribe. Yeah, continue enjoying more content from me. I'll try as much 
as possible to always be consistent and post videos for you guys the three of us that are watching these videos <laughs> including myself thank you so much again for watching another video make sure to stay well bye